Today our emphasis is going to be on our split row unit mounts and our common mount row units. We're going to talk about the features and benefits of those units and how they are designed and built for today's 600 plus horsepower tractors. Our row units are easily adaptable to various applicator tube frame sizes, such as 4x4, 6x4, 4x6, and 6x6. We can accommodate other applicator units. Starting at the front of our row unit, we offer a inch and three quarter shaft, high strength shaft for our Coulter mount. This shaft has a flat spot machined into it that aligns up with one of the two set screws, helping to keep that shaft from rotating and sliding up and down. At the top of our Coulter shaft, we uh, insert a roll pin. Keep that shaft, when you're adjusting it up and down in the field from falling out on the ground and, and injuring yourself, basically, just a safety feature that we use on these. Moving down on our collar here, we have a grease zerk. And inside this collar, there is a grease groove machined into that to allow grease to get clear around this collar and shaft. Down on the bottom, we uh, have a bolt through here with two high strength uh, rollers on it. And their purpose is, as this goes through the field and, and rotates back and forth, it just helps that to rotate from wearing the bottom of the coupler out and just keep it for long use. On our arm here, you'll see that we utilize a 10 inch long coil spring. We, uh, we machine the ends so we have consistent pressure on that spring and in that spring we have a high silica content in that metal to keep that spring rigid consistently. We, what we don't want is that spring to start getting weaker with time. Here on the shaft, we have you'll notice we have two tabs welded to our shaft. The purpose of those tabs are to keep the coulter from rotating too far, uh, either in the field or if you're in transport mode to keep that from banging and swiveling around there. Some of our competitors actually use a set screw to accomplish that. And I don't know how many of you've seen it, but uh, if that set screw tends to work loose and then you go travel down the road when it's folded up, you'll get to the next field, you'll see that those coulters are all swiveled on that shaft and need to be adjusted. We believe this is a much better way of doing that. So moving down on our Coulter unit, we offer a inch and a quarter vertical Coulter shaft. It's so greasable and you can see here that we have a grease ring installed into that to, to get lubrication all the way around that, just like our vertical shaft did. Depending on whether you're uh, using our CS mount or our split mount, will determine the size of the blade. On our CS, I'm showing here uh, an example of uh, our standard blade, which is a 20 inch blade, smooth. In other words, no, no waves. We can offer that with the wave or crucible, depending on your application. Again, this is a 20 inch. We do also offer a 24 inch on our split mount row units. Talk a little bit about our spring bundles. Uh, we utilize the same spring bundle on our CS and our split mount row units. You'll notice here that we have a, a spring within a spring or a two spring setup here. We taper these off or machine these off so we have a, 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 a nice uniform compression point here, both on the top and the bottom. Incidentally, this inner spring is the same spring that we use on our Coulter. These have a high silica content to retain their effective spring load so we're not uh, like a, a if you think about it like a spring in a bed after you sleep on it for a lot of years it, it loses its form that's not a good thing in our uh, industry with this so that's why it has the high silica content and that's why it's important we also just use one set of springs some of our competitors use two the negativity about that is it, it tends to pick one spring or the other and it works side to side with a single spin spring that does not happen. So talking a little bit more about our spring bundles and some of the features and benefits, uh, I'm gonna tilt this back up and as you look down in here, you'll see a shaft that we have laying down in here. Uh, the bolt ties up through our spring bundle. Uh, a couple of things I wanna point out. We machine a flat spot in this uh, shaft that our 
bolt head sets into and that keeps that from rotating so if you need to adjust your tension either tighten or loosen it you don't have to worry about that bolt turning on you this shaft free floats in there not uh, doesn't have any anti-rotating or uh, features or anything like that but a very unique design down in here moving to the back of our pivot point of where our shank mounts we have a one inch shaft here that is greasable it does have a grease groove cut into it as well and then also uh, might point out an anti-rotating bolts on it so it doesn't rotate as well so now that we've covered the different components of our spring bundle i want to talk a little bit about the actual mount that brings all this together our frame is a six and three quarter inch wide main frame with three eighths plates flanking both the left and the right side. And I want to point out a, another feature here. Earlier we talked a little bit about jigsaw puzzling this thing together. This, this would be an ex another example of that. We've notched this out and integrated the top piece into the side pieces for strength to help with the side side to side type force that's going to be on this uh, mounting plate. If you can imagine this would be where your frame of your bar attaches is be right here depending on the width of your tube would be either shorter or longer here. You'll also notice that we've got two small tabs here. This butts up to the front of your applicator frame and why is that a big deal you might ask yourself. Well, one thing that that does is that keeps a consistent force left to right against your frame of your machine, keeps it square with the machine, and then helps our U-bolts to stay tight and reduce the fatigue on them as well. Incidentally, we use three-quarter inch U-bolts, two three-quarter inch in every row unit. A lot of our competitors are five-eighths, but we actually use a three-quarter inch bolt there help hold this tight and straight with uh, your frame. So we kind of already talked about our pivot point back here and uh, how our springs are attached down in here, but I did want to show you the piece that is at the heart of all of this, which is the this piece here that actually goes this way. So this, this is your pivot point in the back here. Again, the grease point that I talked about earlier. And then earlier we talked about the pin where the bolt goes up through the top. This is what that piece looks like. It's uh, two half inch plates here, welded together. But I did want to point out uh, a very important feature on this. We kind of jigsaw puzzle this together. So we have welds in here. We jigsaw this piece in so we can get a good weld here. And that, that spreads that stress out on that piece and obviously makes it a lot stronger as well by doing a jigsaw type uh, welding design. So moving down on our row unit, I wanna talk about our shank. We use an inch and a quarter by two edge bent shape. So you'll notice that we bend that, the thick side or edge bent side down, a lot stronger. A lot of you uh, folks can probably remember when it was bent the other way. In other words, it wasn't bent on the edge. We did have some issues with breakage and so forth in those days. We went to this uh, type of a shank, much more durable and stronger than the old shanks. Another thing I just wanted to show you for a point of reference is how that shank ties into our spring bundle. So we visited about this piece just a little bit ago. It just slides, the shank actually just slides up into it and, and there's it's attached to it with two bolts. So back here, is your pivot point. This is your where your spring bundles give to let this work. Continuing on, uh, we're going to talk about our disc sealers a little bit. I want to point out the features and benefits of it. So all our plating is half inch thick material. Uh, it is all laser cut, so it's a nice smooth finish. You'll notice we have three holes here. This is actually where we mount our disc sealers to your shank. And you'll notice that they're elongated. The reason we do that is so we can bolt to several different shanks, both the edge bent and the old style. So regardless of your shank, this will bolt up. So use three U-bolts, very important. 
Uh, a lot of our competitors use two U bolts. The reason we use three is two allows this to twist on that shank. And that's not something you want. You want that to be held firmly. So three bolts will do that. But we have a back plate here that keeps the U bolt tight and firm so it can't give either. You'll also notice too that uh, side view, again, how clean cut this is. Half inch here on our arms again. A gusset down the top. Elongated slots here to mount your, your arms onto. That gives you your adjustment this way, front and back. We also offer another um, option with a longer arm. So if you want to offset those blades, you can do that. We have a sealed tapered roller bearings here, machine fit cap. No need for a, a protector or a, anything addition to hold that on there. It, it's machine cut for that. Okay, another thing I want to point out is our disc sealers are independent of each other. In other words, uh, if this one needs to go up or this one, they are independent of each other. Some of our competitors tie those together. So if this one needs to go up, this one will regardless. We also have a stop here, so they'll only go down so far. Because they are U-bolt mounted, we can adjust those on that shank up and down uh, for uh, precise adjustment for your different field conditions. So moving down and discussing our lower disc sealer arm, you'll notice that we have again slotted holes and several of them left to right. That's to allow you to have infinite adjustment on your arm, as well as being able to move it closer to the shank or further away. You can reverse these and go the other way as well to, to move more or less. Half inch plate here again, just like up here. We also have a inner or a front and a rear gusset for added strength here. Moving on down, you'll notice that we have our uh, hub slotted. That allows for different brands of blades, anything from 14 to inch, 18 inch blades. For a greasable uh, sealed tapered roller bearing down here. And then we also have a uh, protective cap here because you're gonna have a lot of residue coming by here. You won't knock this cap off, a little protection there. Another thing that we offer is you'll notice that this housing goes underneath or back underneath behind this outer roller here. The reason we do that is a lot of fields will have twine or net wrap in them. That helps to uh, protect that and keep that from wrapping. Inside here, we machine this to a sharp edge. So if it twine or net wrap actually does get down in there, it helps to cut that and release that so it doesn't ball up here. Here is our standard disc sealer blade. It's an 18 inch blade, it's notched. You can get smooth. Uh, also another feature, this is what we call a mud release blade. So as if it's in a wet condition in the spring or something, this builds up mud, it will, these holes in here will actually release that mud and it'll fall off allowing you to keep going in uh, less than desirable conditions.